Hi. Today we will tell you about the Russian anti-aircraft artillery systems Panzer C-1. Development, modifications and variants, armament, fire control system. And of course we will tell you about the combat use in Libya, Syria and Ukraine. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and check if notifications about our new videos are set up. The Panzer missile system is a family of self-propelled, medium-range surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery systems. Starting with the Panzer S-1 as the first version, it is produced by KBP Instrument Design Bureau of Tula, Russia. NATO reporting name SA-22 Greyhound. The system is a further development of 2K-22 Tunguska and uses phased array radars for both target acquisition and tracking. The Panzer S-1 was designed to provide point air defense of military, industrial, administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles, and to provide additional protection to air defense units against enemy air attacks employing precision munitions, especially at low to extremely low altitudes. Originally Soviet strategic missile systems had been placed in fixed, hardened sites. Newer systems such as the S-300 on the other hand were much more mobile which reduced vulnerabilities to attack. However, once the S-300 unit was found by enemy forces it was still very vulnerable to massive attack. One of the roles for the Panzer S is to provide air defense to the S-300 missile systems. It was also decided that a wheeled chassis would be better suited for the Panzer S rather than a tracked chassis, on grounds that wheeled vehicles are faster, less prone to breakdowns, easier to maintain, and cheaper to produce. Development as Panzer S started in 1990 as a planned successor of Tunguska M1. A prototype was completed in 1994 and displayed at the MOX 1995. International Aviation and Space Show. The program soon ran into difficulties which resulted in a halt in funding. However, KBP continued development of the program using its own funds. This resulted in a complete redesign of both the turret and radar systems and removal of any older Tunguska equipment. The system has two new radars with increased range, capable of tracking more air targets but also land targets and has an integrated IFF system. Identification, Friend or Foe IFF, is a radar-based identification system designed for command and control. Within the cabin two new LCD multi-function displays have replaced the multiple CRT display and a new central computer system greatly decreased the reaction time. The cathode ray tube CRT, is a vacuum tube that contains one or more electron guns and a phosphorescent screen and is used to display images. Single operator operation can be achieved when needed. Due to the new technologies adopted, the overall volume of the weapon station is reduced by a third while the overall weight is reduced by half. The system also has enhanced missiles from Type 57E6 to Type 57E6E probably interchangeable, and guns from Type 2A72 to Type 2A38M. Live firing tests took place in June 2006 at the Kapustinyar Firing Range, Astrakhan Region, Russia. Final test series prior to delivery in May 2007 at Kapustin Yar included a forced march 250 kilometers ca. 155 miles to an unprepared launch position simulating the accomplishing of a typical air defense mission. The Panzer S-1 air defense missile gun system was adopted for service with the Russian Army by an order of the Chairman of the Government of the Russian Federation Dmitry Medvedev on 16 November 2012. Modernized Panzer S-2 entered service in 2015. Modifications surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery systems. Panzer S-1. This is the first and most numerously produced version from 2008 to 2013 and more planned in 2019. Panzer S-1M. New upgraded variant of the Panzer S-1 first unveiled in February 2019 as some planned models. Experience of the system deployment in Syria was applied during development of the new modification. It has an upgraded L-band search radar with ability to track up to 40 targets at once and new multifunctional EHF fire control radar that can engage four targets simultaneously, both fitted with phased antenna arrays. 
The system also uses new 57E6ME surface to air missile with increased ceiling from 15 to 18 kilometers, 9.3 to 11.2 miles, engagement range from 20 to 30 kilometers, 12 to 19 miles, and speed 1300 to 1700 meters per second, 4700 to 6100 kilometers per hour, 2900 to 3800 miles per hour, as well as with heavier 25 kilograms fragmentation warhead compared to the 20 kg warhead of the standard 57E6E missile. Panzer M and M, naval variant of the land-based Panzer S1 first unveiled in July 2015. The system uses two the Gryazave Shipanov GSH 6-30-30mm 1.2 in 6-barrel rotary cannons, as found on the Kashtan Kordak CIWS, 8 missiles instead 12 and an additional radar separate from the one fitted on top of the turret itself. The Panzer M can simultaneously engage four targets with four missiles in an altitude from 2 to 15 kilometers and at a range of 20 kilometers. The system has an ammunition supply of 32 missiles and is comprised by several combat modules, including ammunition supply module in the storage and reloading system under the deck. It may be fitted with surface-to-air missiles from both Panzer S and Hermes K air defense systems with maximum firing range of the latter up to 100 km In the future it will replace the Kashtan Kordak CIWS on all Russian Navy's warships, starting by Karakurt class corvettes in 2018. Trials of Panzer M began in December 2017, and the system entered service in February 2019. Panzer S2 and S2E Modernized system for the armed forces and for export. Incorporates new tracking radar, two-faced radars with enhanced features and range. It is in service with Russia, Algeria. Panzer SM. The Panzer SM variant incorporates a multi-functional targeting station, increasing target detection range from 40 to 75 kilometers, 25 to 47 miles, and engagement range from 20 to 40 kilometers, 12 to 25 miles. The system also uses a new high-speed extended range missile, and existing Panzer systems can be upgraded to SM standard. It is fitted to a new 8x8 Kamaz truck chassis with an armored cab. Development completed in 2019. Panzer SAW. After testing Panzer in the Arctic, it was decided to design a new version specifically for the Arctic, to use at temperatures below minus 50 degrees Celsius, minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, called Panzer SAW. This version has no 30mm autocannon mounted. Armament Panzer S1. Panzer S1 carries up to 1257E6 two-stage solid-fuel radio-optical command guided surface-to-air missiles in sealed ready-to-launch container tubes. Missiles are arranged into two six-tube groups on the turret. The missile has a bicaliber body, consisting of two stages in a tandem configuration. The first stage is a booster, providing rapid acceleration within the first two seconds of flight, after which it is separated from the sustainer stage. The sustainer is highly agile and contains the high explosive multiple continuous rod fragmentation warhead, as well as the contact and proximity fuses, guidance flare and radio transponder. The missile is not fitted with a seeker to keep target engagement costs low. Target and missile tracking is instead provided via the system's multiband sensor system and guidance data is submitted via radio link for up to four missiles in flight. The system is capable of tracking and guiding four missiles fired at four distinct targets. Operationally, however, two missile salvos are typically fired at each target. The 57E6 missile is believed to have a kill probability of 70 to 90 percent and have a 15-year storage lifetime in its sealed launch container. Panzer S-1 combat vehicles can fire missiles on the move. Additional missiles, one specifically designed to engage unmanned aerial vehicles, and another one hypersonic, developing speeds of more than Mach 5, have been developed for the Panzer system. Two dual 2A38M 30mm in autocannon guns are fitted with 700 rounds of a variety of ammunition, e high explosive, fragmentation, fragmentation tracer, and armor piercing with tracer. Ammunition type can be selected by the crew depending on the nature of the target. Maximum rate of fire is 2,500 rounds per minute per gun. Range is up to 4 kilometers 2.5 miles. The combined gun missile system has an extremely low altitude engagement capability, targets as low as 0 meters height above ground level AGL can be engaged by this system. 
In aviation, atmospheric sciences and broadcasting, a height above ground level is a height measured with respect to the underlying ground surface. This is as opposed to altitude elevation above mean sea level, or, in broadcast engineering, height above average terrain. In other words, these expressions indicate where the zero level or reference altitude is located. The Panzer S-1 fire control system includes a target acquisition radar and dual waveband tracking radar designation 1RS21E for export models, which operates in the UHF and EHF waveband. Detection range is 32 to 36 kilometers, 20 to 22 miles, and tracking range is 24 to 28 kilometers, 15 to 17 miles, for a target with 2 square meters, 22 square feet RCS. Can also reliably achieve more, to 45 kilometers, 28 miles. This radar tracks both targets and the surface-to-air missile while in flight. Minimum target size 2 to 3 square centimeters 0.31 to 0.47 square in 0.0004 square meters 0.0043 square feet. As well as radar, the fire control system also has an electro-optic channel with long-wave thermal imager and infrared direction finder, including digital signal processing and automatic target tracking. A simplified, lower-cost version of Panzer S-1 is also being developed for export, with only the electro-optic fire control system fitted. The two independent guidance channels, radar and electro-optic, allow two targets to be engaged simultaneously. And four for more recent options, 2012. Maximum engagement rate is up to 10 to 12 targets per minute. Types of purposes. Aircraft, UAVs, helicopters, anti-radar missiles, detection range of AGM-88 harm missile 13 to 15 kilometers, 8.1 to 9.3 miles, air-launched cruise missiles. Combat operational history of Panzer S-1. Libya. In June 2019, United Arab Emirates deployed several of its Panzer S-1 air defense systems to Libya to support the Libyan National Army in their advance towards the Tripoli. The Libyan Interior Minister of the Government of National Accord, Fathi Bashaga claimed one of the systems was reportedly destroyed by a GNA Libyan Air Force strike on 13 November 2019. On 15 May 2020, Turkish media showed a Panzer system belonging to the Libyan National Army LNA, targeted in a GNA drone strike near the al Watiya Air Base, southwest of Tripoli. Reportedly, the system was supplied by the United Arab Emirates. The airstrike came as a part of an operation to cut supplies to the LNA. Turkish media showed imagery of the airstrike. Other media said the video could not be independently verified and that the LNA denied a Panzer destruction claim made by the GNA before. On 18 May, the Turkish-backed Government of National Accord GNA, captured the al Watiya Air Base including a Panzer S-1 TLAR belonging to the Libyan National Army LNA. Later, it was reported that the captured Panzer battery was the same targeted three days before. On 20 May, Mohamed Ganunu, a GNA spokesman claimed their forces have destroyed seven Panzer TLARs in al Watiya Air Base, Tarhuna and al Wishka. Media sources reported the destruction of at least five defenses in the GNA offensive, in turn an LNA official denied the destruction of Panzers. Syria. A Panzer S-1 unit of the Syrian Air Defense Force reportedly scored the first combat kill of the type by downing a Turkish Air Force RF-4E carrying out a reconnaissance flight over the Syrian coast near Latakia on the 22nd of June 2012. The system has also been deployed on the territory of Syria by the Russian armed forces as part of Russian military intervention in the Syrian civil war since 2015. A Russian poster displayed at the International Military Technical Forum Army 2017 from March to July 2017, claimed that the Russia's Panzer S systems deployed in Syria destroyed 12 flying objects, including the UAVs Heron, Bayraktar, RQ-21A, and also various missiles and an aerostat. At the beginning of October 2017, it was reported that the Panzer destroyed two MLRS Grad missiles launched by ISIL. On 27 December 2017, militants fired several missiles from the BDAMA-inhabited community at Latakia International Airport and the Russian Aerospace Forces deployment site in the Kamamim Air Base. Two missiles were intercepted by the Panzer Air Defense System. In the night of 5 to 6 January 2018, the Kamamim Air Base was attacked by 13 aircraft-type unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. 
Seven drones were eliminated by the Panzer Air Defense Systems, six landed at assigned coordinates with the use of electronic warfare hardware. On 14 April 2018, American, British, and French forces launched a barrage of 103 air-to-surface and cruise missiles targeting eight sites in Syria. According to Russian officials, 25 Panzer S-1 missiles launched in response destroyed 23 incoming missiles. The American Department of Defense stated no Allied missiles were shot down. A Panzer S-1 system belonging to the Syrian Air Defense Force was damaged by the Israel Defense Forces during the May 2018 Israel-Syria clashes. Images of the damaged system show it was effectively out of ammunition and the radar was disabled at the time of the strike. According to Chief Designer for Air Defense Systems at KBP Instrument Design Bureau KBP, Valerie Slugin, Israeli intelligence managed to track the position of the system after one of its operators called for resupply and left his mobile phone in the cabin. On 21 January 2019, Israeli military reported it has targeted several Panzer S-1 systems near Damascus. Russia's Panzer and Tor M1 air defense systems shot down 27 rockets the militants had fired at the Kamamim Air Base on 6 May 2019. In January 2020, Chief Designer for Air Defense Systems at KBP Valery Slugin reported Panzer Air Defense Systems intercepted about 100 drones during their combat operations all over the world, most of which took place in Syria. Panzers were also successfully used against various ground targets, such as terrorists' jihad mobiles, during their Syrian deployment. A Syrian Panzer S-1 system was claimed to be destroyed by the Turkish armed forces during strikes on Syria in the night of the 27th to the 28th of February 2020. Russian media alleged that the video analysis of footage released by Turkish media indicated visible design differences between the system claimed to be destroyed by Turkey and the variant operated by the Syrian Air Defense Force, and claimed that the footage might not come from Syria at all. On 3 March 2020, Turkish media released another video footage of what was claimed to be second Syrian Panzer S-1 being destroyed by a drone strike. Russian media claimed that the footage is a CGI saying that the traces of missing video fragments and debris having the same size and shape after the explosion. On 10 March 2020, the Russian Defense Ministry confirmed two Panzer S-1 systems were damaged during the recent Turkey-Syria clashes, adding that repair works were nearing completion. On 1 May 2020, the Syrian military criticized the radar being used in the S-300 and the Panzer S, saying that it was largely ineffective detecting Israeli cruise missiles. Ukraine. Various independent experts believe Panzer S-1 was operated on the separatist side during the war in Donbass. Remnants of its main armament were reported to have been observed in Ukraine in November 2014. It was also reportedly filmed in Luhansk and photographed in Makivka in the rebel-held territories during early 2015. The Panzer S air defense missile and gun system has gone on combat duty in the town of Kerch, eastern Crimea, in early September 2018. Thank you for watching our video to the end. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel there are many more interesting videos ahead.